Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XV. Now, I've already done this a couple of times, so I know what I'm doing. Right. Um, basically, we're entering Durrell Cabins um, to try and hit the secret dungeon if we can. But we're stuck with. I hate necromancers so much, I really do. I do have golden needles that I could use on myself straight away, but they, they knock you out of it anyway, straight away. Pretty good, don't they? Come on, Gladio, finish him off. I want to get rid of these uh, these buggers as quickly as I possibly can. Yeah, I managed to get a chunk of the way through the dungeon. Wow, that did like 45k on that one over there. Yeah, I managed to get a chunk of the way through the dungeon. Um, uh, I managed to get nearly 400k XP on everybody, which was incredible. And then I did a half an hour episode and realised that it had not recorded any of my audio, so I had to start again. And since then, the game's just been, uh, it's been bugging me out at the, the most pivotal part of what we need to do. There's something very specific you have to do, and if you don't do it, it screws you. Um, and you have to redo it all, so, uh, that wasn't so hard. blindside link on this one as well. The thing is, you don't know if you blindside link in these, do you? Stay down! No big deal. Obviously, it's all a case of getting through this as quickly as you possibly can, that's the key. Right, do I do I want to save it? I might save here, actually. Oh crap, I can't now. I've just fell into the fight. So we've got to destroy these four as quickly as possible. That is a key to this, because they're annoying as hell. So what you need to do is there is a platform just behind us. And we need to get on that platform. Is everything else dead? No, it is. No, we've got to kill that one as well. But we're going to get on that platform at the time the Iron Giant dies. So Gladio now finishes him off. Come on, Gladio, finish him off. Yes, he's down. Right. We should now drop onto the platform, which we have. Right, now... I need to be careful because I walked off this a minute ago, right. There we go, descend. There we go. We don't actually need to descend, we just need to knock the ladder down for everyone else to be able to get up. But there you go. That's what you have to do. Now we can climb back up the ladder. I'm so glad I got that done because that was doing my head in, that was. And now through here. And there we go, we can now enter the secret dungeon and we've got quite a lot of double XP left at the bottom as you can see. Which is good. Here's another one of those sealed doors. Let's open it up, let's get inside, and let's start farming the XP as much as we possibly can. That's the best way, and then like I said, you can farm so much XP in these and uh if we get up to 200k on everybody, we'll be able to get to level 100 on everybody, which is fantastic. But I reckon we can do this dungeon and another two after it before we need to cash in our XP again, which should hopefully give us enough hey, to get up very, very high. I think the new level cap is 120, and it would be nice to be over level before we go into places like Cosmark Tower or before we have to fight off against Adamantois as well. Oh, they spawned a bit late, didn't they? Now these aren't too bad, I was fighting these earlier on and they're not too difficult to kill but they're worth a decent amount of XP so it's not it's not bad actually these things. And if you time it right you can farm some AP as well. Again, again there, another warp strike kill. And another warp strike kill. I'm good at them. Alright, let's grab the item. Yeah, I gave us the target last time when I was doing this of 250k XP by the end of this dungeon. I think by the end of the episode, I was only halfway through the dungeon and I already had about 350 on everybody, so it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good dungeon. I didn't do that on purpose, I did pretty well there. Take him down. There is some tough stuff in here as well. This one was a, a massive upgrade on the last few dungeons we've done, the secret ones. 
But as long as we're farming AP, I'm happy enough. The Prince of Pain. Yeah. But you've seen the damage that. Uh... Oh, there's another one. Yeah, you've seen the damage now that um that Gladio can pull off. The base silver piece that's good for uh, Xpiricast magic. There's a lot of Xpiricast magic in these places. So we do have Armager. Now I know when to use that now because there are some... There's a lot more in here, isn't there? There's a lot more in here. Yeah, when we get into the rooms with the giant crabs, that's when the Armager comes in very useful. See, the problem is with these things, it's, it's just numbers against you. Finish him off, right? That's good. Here I am. Boom. Hey, Pronto. Stay on your feet. I think we got the uh, link strike there, did we? Yeah. I love the way in this game that you can be absolutely awful at this game and still look like a, a hero when it comes to fighting. Come on, Gladio, finish him off. Let's look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Picture perfect. Did you take a snapshot? I'm still not. I'm getting A plus on offense every single fight, but I'm still not doing very well on um, finesse ever. I don't know why. Do you need to do a lot more link strikes and stuff like that? Or here we go, crabs. This is where the armature comes in useful then, because these four crabs are very, very difficult to kill. But they're doable. But um, it's if you can get them down quicker, that's the key. I think to. To get in the most like the double XP as you possibly can. That straight up armager into blindside link. I've tried to walk through him, which doesn't work. There we go. Can get around the back. Ah. Okay, we have to use our first health items of the uh, dungeon. Potion for me and Ignis. Get it then. I'm so slow at getting up when I've been knocked down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Glad he was going to kill them both. Oh, just as he went vulnerable, which is perfect timing. This is the uh, this is the dream. Living the dream. You just wait and see how much XP we get out of the end as well. Serious amount. Try this on That's crossing the line. Nice warp strikes as well. So is this the right? I can't remember which way I went last time, so we're just going to go left. This is my t this is my tactic for doing this now. I always just go left. Uh, we're still going down. Is that a good sign? Best thing I need now. I feel it. Mouth closed. Yeah. Crept up on the other by the other crab. Oh, and then the out one got me as well. Yeah, back across the other side of the room, walk strike right into the back of him. Nice little link strike. And his rumble, quick, get him. This is the best time to hit him when he's vulnerable, he's upside down. We did take a lot of health off of him, didn't we? Count on it. Nice work. Ha! Gladio. Any last words? Do I have to go into the health items then? Because Ignis just had a square above his head that said rescue. Warp strike kill again. Nice prompto seems to be stuck in the floor. And yet we're all very much alive. Come on, prompto. Don't be like this. Hopefully we respawn back in behind us in a second. Where are the guys? They're not they're nowhere to be seen. There they are. Where's Prompto and uh, Ignis? Where's Gladio? If I may. Where is Gladio? 
Glad they were trapped in the other room. Well, that's that. Could be. Ignis, oh, I don't see Gladio anywhere. Let's use his... I can't use his impulse either. Well, here we... Do you reckon he didn't get in the room in time? That's weird. And what's Ignis doing over here? Or Prompto? How are we? Prompto, you're up! Everyone's bugging out in here at the moment, aren't they? Opening. <laughs> Recovered. And this was the wrong way to go. I've got an, an Oracle Ascension coin though. So where's Gladio then? You're gonna bump into him back up here? I'm a little bit worried where my teammates are going. Because I don't even see Prompto anymore either. I just literally see Ignis, that's it. Right, so we've gone to the one on the left, so now we need to continue round. I think this randomizes, to be honest with you. Oh no, we didn't. We went. Oh, we went on the. Okay, this is the one directly left of the door. Let's go around this one then. Because I buggered this up here. I normally always go to the one on the left and I can work around the room. Door to the left, door to the left, door to the left, so I don't get confused. But I went down the wrong one the first time. Maybe this might be. Oh, what's in this one? Oh, more of these veil tubes. Just a small Easy as they come. There we go, we're back up to full strength now. Gladio's back. He heard there was a fight going on and he decided to get involved. Get back! Boom, we get so much AP. Up in here. And so much XP as well. So I'm just looking for the campground. When we get to the campground, we get another Moogle charm. Right, crabs, okay. I'm a Let's see if we can take these crabs down as quickly as we can. We've taken one crab down, now we're working on the other one. He's vulnerable, boom. Warp strike him in for the kill. Come on, that's got to give us only again a D finesse. Can you only get him better than finesse than D, surely? That must be the door we came in, so this is the door to go out. You can always tell because the door to come in is always up. And the door to go out is always down, right? More crabs. It's not a problem, these are worth good XP. And right down the front of him, there we go. Vulnerable. Oh, the one from behind, though. The one from behind got us. The numbers work in the favour of the crabs. Come on, take him down, take him down, take him down. The numbers game can't work against us now. Again, I can't use Gladio's move. Why? Why? What is Gladio doing? He's behind the door. We've been caught here. We're in trouble. Being caught in no man's land. Oh, is it because Gladio's... I know. I messed up again. If I get close enough, I can just use a potion straight off the bat. Yeah. Why is this crab doing so much damage? Come on, Ignis, get up. I licked to myself. Gladio! Come on, Gladio. There he is. He must have just been out of it because he was uh, low on health. There we go. That is the uh, what we're looking for. Never and we hit 200k on Noctis, Gladio, and Ignis. Picked up a mega potion. We are laughing now, we're laughing. Well, we're laughing as long as you can hear me. If there's no audio in this video as well, I'm going to stop playing this game altogether because it's annoying me now. 
I hate redoing the same thing over and over again, even though these dungeons literally are the same thing over and over again. <gasps> but he spawned in late, didn't he? <laughs> Malbaro Doom. Run. Start to hit something big, you can tell if you went green. Again, whoop strike into the back. We'd want to get the technique bar up and get our armager bar up. Armager bar is up. Let's armager. And he's vulnerable as an armager as well, that's perfect. This is worth a lot of XP, surely. Look, but that was easy, that was. Oh, 25k, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, 25k. Oh. Makes me feel all cold and tingly inside, that does. Let's celebrate by eating something dead. You are very close to the door, aren't you? Enough talk, time for some action. Say your prayers. Taken down. Oh, I didn't quite get the uh, warp strike kill. Boom, that got the warp strike kill. Right. And that got the warp strike kill as well, right. Let's go! Yep. Aoife. Which is an item we'll never use because we use high Aoife's. No, I know we use. Then uh, Aoife just brings up your, M, uh, your MP. There we go. And we're at the campground, we which we're not going to use because we've still got our double XP, and that is the Moogle Charm. That is what we wanted. Right, gear. So now all four guys have got a Moogle Charm, which means they're going to get extra XP as we go through. What else we pick up? We picked up a Diamond Bracelet, which gives you more strength. Lavender Oil, which gives you more of whatever that is. Spirit. And Moogle Charm, which gives you more XP. How much is it to buy the extra slot, not element C, ascension, the extra uh, item slot for everybody? Um, is it in stats? No, it can't be in stats, it is. Accessory slot, 333. Okay. I can increase the vitality and the spirit. Or I can save up for the accessory slot. I think the accessory slot is definitely going to be the best one because then we can boost attack power and health and everything like that as well. So that's going to be good. Right, I've done with these before. They don't. You can't do any damage to them with swords. So I have to use the ring. The ring of Lucide is a very effective weapon with these. Boom, as you can see. And just by using that ring of Lucide, we get 7,000. XP and there we go. I said once it gets 250,000 everyone. We're less than halfway through this dungeon I reckon and already we're more or less there. Right, crabs. Boom. Take him down. Okay, I got took down instead because I decided to run into the middle of a room full of crabs and just attack him. This is why it's important to get the numbers down because look at the damage they caused as we came in here. They took three of us out. Got it. Myself, Prompto and Gladio all went down. So we have to get their numbers down as quickly as we possibly can. And I didn't hit the uh, the block in time there. There's four in here again. Wow, we're really getting hit hard in here, aren't we? Gladio. So what damage you can do? Uh, not. Did you just? Oh, he made one of them vulnerable as well. Quick, attack the vulnerable one. Not. Prompto's in danger. Not good. Ah, yeah, they're so bloody strong, aren't they? Yep. This is why I try and have the armager ready to go into these room with the crabs. Hey! Hey! Take this one out, take this one out. Right, one's down. Oh, I was holding block for that, I really was. Gladio's down. Completely out. That's a tough one, that is. Yeah. 
like Gladio is down again. I literally just healed him. These crabs are buggers, I tell you. Look, everyone's down at the moment. Everyone. We've been backed into a corner. That's the problem. When you're backed into a corner on this against these buggers, you're not going to win. You're not going to win at all. Right. Gladio! Come on, Gladio. See if you can finish another one or two off. If we can get the numbers down, we'll be laughing. Oh, well, I definitely got the numbers down, didn't it? Definitely got the numbers down. There's only one left now, I think. No, there's two. And he's took me out again. My God. This room has is, is really been the bane of us. So we need to get through it as quickly as possible to keep using as much of our double XP as we possibly can. Right, all the crabs are down. We've got 15k XP for that, good. This is the way out and this is the way in, okay. Oh, this is where we're several doors again, isn't it? Right, so down the left one as normal. Like I say, uh, I think there's three exits out of here. Two will be dead ends and one will be the right way to go. I've got my armage already now. Any plan of attack? Plow right through on it. That door shut while I was still stood there. Right, the armage should hopefully be enough to take at least one of these bad boys out. I hope we do some damage to a second one. Right, we are taking one out, we're doing some damage to the second one. And they destroyed us. Everyone's stuck outside. It started the fight so early on that I was... Am I the only one in here? I am. It's me versus the crabs. That's not very fair, is it? Watch yourself, There we go. They're spawned in now. Ignis spawned in. The first thing he did was die. Great. You can't use Gladio's attack. So Gladio must not have spawned in yet. Right, there's Prompto. Try this on and Ignis is down. I need Ignis up because he's the only other one that I can see in here with me. Come on. Can't use impulse. I can't understand how it, it's doing this to us. It's like locking some of the guys outside, but we didn't even initiate the tackle, the, the attack this time. We just initiated it as soon as we came through the door and shut the door behind us. Oh, bugger off. I was holding that. I was holding that. I was ready. I was holding block. Might as well use your special attack than Ignis. This should make our sword more powerful against him. Alas! There we go, he's down. It takes two. It takes two, baby. I'll give you that. Yeah, you're on the right you're on the right side of the door as well. How did how'd you do that? Alright, are you ready? Right, it's custards, it's fine. I can I can deal with the custards myself. Say your prayers. We just gotta suck them all in with a ring of loose eye. Which, lucky I found this because they don't they don't take um you can't affect them with swords. Break things up in here. This is a dead end, isn't it? It is. Okay, well this was the wrong way to come then. So we need to go back up into the main room and go down one of the other sides. Let's take the ring back off so we don't end up trying to attack stuff with the ring that we don't need to. Wish the camera would follow the back of them by themselves and not like me have to do it but is this the room let's follow around yep there we go this is the second exit from the room so it's left from the room we just came out of so what have we got in here oh, I remember this earth from earlier right we need to make sure everyone gets in the room for this one come on guys come in the room We've lost Prompto. But there's a Sir Tonbury and he is a... I somehow doubt that. 
just hate this little kid. He's like the most powerful thing on the entire game. It is blatantly Yoda, like don't get me wrong. Pretty rough. Look at that, I warp strike in and I'm the one who takes all the damage. They better make it work of course. I think there's a lot of XP in this game. Oh, I've got a blindside link out there, nice. See, he did do this last time as well, that he got a bit bugged out and tried to get through this door. And we were able to do a lot of damage to him like that, he wouldn't fight back. It was pretty good, actually. Go on, Gladio, use your thing to see how much damage you can do. Did about 32, 33k damage. It's lovely, I love it. I would potentially use my armage, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think he's bugged out a little bit. Did this last time, just tried to run through this door the whole time. Getting a lot of uh, big hit combo. 50 hit combo, 51 hits. Now he's damn vulnerable. There's the Satombri is down. And we got 25k. There we go, we've hit 300k. XP, lovely. Magnificent. Lovely, 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 lovely. That's that, of course, at the uh, at the hotel in Artisha is going to be equivalent to a lot more. Right, custards, we can do this. Uh, not a fan of desserts. One thing you've got to remember to do in this is you've got to remember to actually get into the fight, because if you do this from range without being in the fight, it doesn't count the kills, so you don't get the XP from it. You ready? I love the fact that all level 70s and you can just literally just suck them in like that. Get 10,000 XP for them, bugger all. I love it. I think we must have come the right way because we've been for a couple of rooms now. Normally if it's a dead end there's only only about one or two rooms. And more custards, lovely. I love it. I literally just hold circle and let the game do the rest of the damage for me. And the last one, send him to oblivion. Oh, I can't. I've been uh, knocked out. They do a lot of damage if you don't get them quick enough, don't they? But you do get 13k XP from just sucking them into a ring. A beautiful bottle. What the bloody hell can we do with a beautiful bottle? Not the time for horseplay. My hand slipped. I beg to differ. I think it's perfectly the time for horseplay. We're in a secret dungeon. We've got tons of XP each. And we're about to attack some crabs with Armager. Because I've been saving it up because I had a feeling these buggers were going to come back. Four in a room. We've got to try and... If you come into a room with four of them, you are destined to be screwed by the numbers. But we're taking one down and we're doing damage to another one now as well. Got him down to half health. Lovely. And he's vulnerable. Come on, people. Come on. If we can take that second one now. Oh, hang on a minute. No. Oh, yeah. Two are down. And there should be two left now. You're on fire today. Look at that. Link strikes for days. Blindside no. Link as well. Come on. If this doesn't get us some... Um, All over. If this doesn't get us some good... Finesse. I don't know what will. Right. That's a... Vulnerable one, but surely Gladio is going to finish off with his impulse. You need to help gotcha. Come on, get the blindside link. There we go. And he's vulnerable. Come on, warp strike him to death. There we go. And we got the AP point for it as well. I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of this. Good. 350k for everybody now. Do you mean it? I mean, really. Do you is that the way we came? That's not the way we came in. Right, where's the way we came in? Because this is... Oh, this is just one exit, this room, is it? I, I had a feeling this was a room of several exits. No, it's just the one. Okay. Continue down. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, actually. We're going to finish off the episode there. Hopefully, it's recorded the audio this time. And next time, we will continue through. And we'll do some more killing. I'm going to pause the game there because I don't want to use up any of the uh, double XP. Um, so, of course, if you have enjoyed it, of course, like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you very, very soon for some more Final Fantasy XV. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.